there are many themes in long days journey tonight and the first one is optimism and pessimism like the play opens with optimism and ends with pessimism we see that when the play begins all the characters are very optimistic we know that james tyrone is optimistic that now the family is uh, re- uh, united and uh, the family thinks that the home is home again when mary comes back from sanatorium so afterwards we see that the same optimism changes to pessimism then there is miserliness james tyrone is miser and he is close fisted person it may be because of this reason that he has valued a dollar he saw in his childhood that his mother would work in the houses of the people as a maid and she was always hand to mouth she could not serve the family properly because she was unable to earn much so james tyrone when he was grown up he had to take care of the family and he started with scratch he started uh, uh, with petty jobs and uh, that is why he valued a dollar and that made him a miser it was because of his miserliness in the play that he could not provide a very good house in america to his family uh, he mostly traveled in b class trains he lived in cheap hotels and he drank in the dirty bar rooms so this is what his life went over he now has uh, land but he says that he is land poor because he his land is mostly mortgage and instead of paying mortgages he is paying more to uh, uh, the buying of another land even jemmy says while commenting on admin sell he says that if admin was a piece of land you would have spent all the money on him but you are not spending money on him since he is your son and you are sending him to a cheap state sanatorium rather you should send him to a good sanatorium where he can be cured family is another dominant theme we don't find any good family life left with these people these tyrons are haunted tyrons who are suffering because of themselves and because of each other they are suffering because of their habits their deeds their past mistakes and the results of those past mistakes in their present so we find that the family who in the beginning of the play seemed a happy family in the end of the play turns out to be a sad and pessimistic family we don't find family ties in them we don't find family bonds in them because they seem disintegrated they seem to be hated hating each other Mary Tyrone's hates Jamie. Mary Tyrone's hates James Tyrone, but she loves Edmund. Edmund love loves his mother, but he hates his father and brother. Jamie hates everyone almost. To some extent, he likes his mother. So this is going on within this family where only four members are living, and still these four members are having antagonistic attitudes uh, for each other. We are told about religion. so religion in these people is non existent there is no moral code left with these people except to some extent in james tyrone james tyrone is catholic and he prays at home the rest of his family members are away from uh, the catholic uh, essence of life mary tyrone once wanted to be a nun but now she gave up the idea since she married james tyrone now she only cherishes that idea but she is not a devoted catholic now then there is the past as refuge and burden to these people seek escapism they go to the happiest memories of the past and even those happiest memories they don't make them happy rather those memories bring a burden to their present lives James Tyrone seeks happiness when he looks at the note that was given to him by Edmund Booth a famous stage actor but that uh, reminds him that he is no more famous now Mary Tyrone remembers her wedding dress it was a time when she was most uh, happiest the most happiest lady 
but that happiness or that marriage ended in a loss and she could not have a good family ties now uh, even she hates her husband to some extent there is isolation people in the play are isolated they are physically near each other but mentally or uh, spiritually they are aloof they are far away from each other uh, most of it we find in mary tyrone that mary tyrone is mostly away from the family she wants to be secluded she wants to be uh, uh, she wants to be in her own company because she can take drugs she can take morphine rest of the family members may taunt her or may ask her to give up this habit so she does not want to give up this habit and she remains in isolation drugs and alcohol is a dominant theme uh mam marries on drugs and uh, rest of three people of the family they are uh, drinking excessive quantity of alcohol alcohol has damaged adamant and uh, he is suffering from it he is suffering from tb tuberculosis and that is just because of alcohol consumption and uh, it is said that uh, james tyrone rather taking adamant to a doctor when he was a child when and when he woke up when he was scared of his dreams he would give him a tablespoon of wine so that he is relaxed so he was addicted since childhood we find sufferings from uh, 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 like happening in the families especially in this family the tyrone family is suffering for many reasons for many reasons because uh, uh, they hate each other they're not happy they're spending a life they're not contented with and uh, they want isolation they want escapism so all of all of them are suffering for uh, somehow or another for some reasons and then there is guilt and blame uh james tyrone has his own guilt mary tyrone has her own guilt sons have their own guilt and because of those guilt they are not accepting the blame on them rather they are putting and pushing the blame on others they feel that blame should be shifted to other people because they themselves are innocent and they feel that the uh, rest of the family members are the uh, are to be blamed for whatever has happened so everyone is blaming one another no one is accepting the blame on his or her own self oedipus complex is there we find the amount of oedipus complex uh, much rather than electro complex in this play james tyrone jemmy tyrone admin tyrone uh, these three are suffering from oedipus complex they hate their father and they love their mother so they have their reasons for hating their father and they ha- they may have their reasons for loving their mother so these three are not very good or are or were not on very good terms with their father in electra complex is uh, just uh, in mary tyrone because she is the only lady in the house uh, the, uh, among the main characters so she is suffering from electra complex she hated her mother but she loved her father so she said that her father would do anything for her what her mother could not do so her mother was she thought that her mother was jealous of her and split personality is there they feel uh, that uh, they are going on different sides psychologically especially mary and jemmy tyrone because we know mary tyrone is uh, taking morphine and going to her remotest past jemmy when he is drunk he expresses this saying that he hates his brother so when he is talking to admin in the end of the play he tells him that he wanted him to fail in his life because he himself was a failure so he did not want his brother to succeed he says him that i made you what you are you followed me i wanted to write poetry you saw me writing poetry you started writing it and then you wrote better than me so i made you you are my frankenstein so these are the words of jemmy but he also tells him that uh, 
on the first time that I get, I'll stab you in the back. So I'm waiting for the movement. So these were the major themes from the play. So the title of the play is symbolic. And uh, the symbolism begins with the very title. The title, The Long Day's Journey Into Night, is, has twofold meanings. So uh, at first level, it is a play that, that starts in the morning and ends in the night. So it is one day play. And uh, at deeper meanings or symbolic meaning, it means that it is a play that begins from, uh, that starts from optimism, but ends at pessimism. So we find that uh, the whole family is pessimistic by the end of the play. They started with being optimistic. Like when the play began, we see that all are happy, they're united. They feel that things are settled. They're now together. Things may get happy or better. Mary has come back from sanatorium. She may be cured. But later on, they realize uh, that things are not that good as they imagined. Even Admin, he starts coughing and they realize that he is suffering from tuberculosis, which in those times was not as much uh, curable as in present times. So the title is symbolic. Then there is fog. So fog is kind of uh, such a thing that hides you from the people. Like Charlie Chaplin once said, I like to walk in rain so that no one can see my tears. So is the case with Mary Tyrone. She wants to live in fog because no one can see her. Uh, because when she is drugged, she is intoxicated, her eyes are brightened, they're, they're flashing, and uh, she's no more nervous. Family comes to know from this side that she has taken a dose. She doesn't want this uh, to be shown by her family, so she wants to hide herself in the fog where no one, no one can detect her and uh, where no one can look at her, even her fingers who remind the people and uh, who remind herself of her intoxication. Fog horns are played at such a place where there is fog near the shore on the lighthouse where the navigators cannot see the light so they may not smash against it. So the fog horns are played. But symbolically fog horn in this play, when they are played, uh, Mary comes back from intoxication her, that trance of intoxication breaks and she has to come back to the reality where she feels herself uh, with uh, the same family members, with the present house, with the same husband whom she hates now once she loved him. So uh, she wants to remain in fog, but fog horns bring her back. Mary is most of the times looking for her glasses. We are told that uh, she once or twice mentions that she is getting uh, bad eyesight. She should get upstairs and get her glasses, but actually she doesn't bring any glasses. So glasses are merely a pose. Uh, they are just a, uh, an excuse for her to go upside, upstairs and take uh, more drugs, more morphine. So whenever she discusses about her glasses, it means that she is missing morphine. So she wants to take more morphine now. Mary's wedding dress reminds her about her post-marital life, uh, pre-marital life, sorry. And Tyrone's wallet reminds him about his happy times when he was in stage. So when Mary got that wedding dress, it, is, it was a time when she was with her father and she loved being there. She was treated like a princess and uh, her mother objected on this thing most of the time. That's why she hated her mother for this fact because she always objected. Her father was all the time loving, caring, and he would do anything she say. So uh, the wedding dress was a reminder of her happier life. Uh, in the same way, Tyrone's wallet uh, contained a note from Edwin Booth, the famous stage actor of that time. He said to Tyrone that uh, you play Othello better than I ever did. So this was a big compliment for him, which he kept uh, uh, with himself saved in his wallet. So both husband and wife keep saying that uh, we have put that thing upstairs in the attic. We should uh, bring it out someday to remember and, and see. So they basically want to see or remember their better past. Books in the living room, 
are the depiction of the personalities the people in the house have. So they refer to Edmund, Jamie and uh, James Tyrone. So the uh, literature section which has uh, 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 Shakespeare for example in that uh, so that belongs to James Tyrone and his personality depicts all those things. Rather, the other section which is uh, philosophy of Nietzsche, Schopenhauer, so that belongs to Jimmy and uh, Admin who read them and now those philosophies have uh, rottenly influenced on their personalities and characters. There is a family car with James and Mary Tyrone so this is this car is also a reminder of uh, James Tyrone's excessive love for Mary. James Tyrone was a miser. He did not want any car for himself. But he got that car for Mary Tyrone so that she doesn't have to move on foot. He also hired uh, Smith who is uh, the chauffeur. So he, had, he has to pay him uh, whether he's driving or not. But Mary, since she is not liking anything of related to James Tyrone now. So she is hating the car too, regardless of the fact that it was bought for the sake of the love and excessive care of James Tyrone for Mary Tyrone. So these were the prominent symbols from Long Day's Journey into Night.